what's up you guys and welcome to the channel in today's video we're going to be installing the lz mfg quick release steering wheel and there's the other stuff that we need to do it with the first thing that we're going to do is disconnect the battery with a 10 mil or an 11 not really sure but then we'll get everything on the inside of the car and hopefully this thing turns out fire so the first thing that you're going to want to do on the inside is remove the clips from right here with a flathead screwdriver or something that you can just pry that out with. And then you've got two 40 millimeter uh, security torch bits that hold it on. There's one on, this, on the other side in the same spot, but you're going to take them out and then the center part right here should come out. And then I'll show you guys what to do next. So we took the two security bits out and you have these two clips on the inside once you get this pulled out and basically all that you do is is you just pop these little black things up and usually I like to go to this little corner right here and just get something sharp and just like barely wiggle it up and then these things pop right out. You move this, these wires out from underneath this clip. That way, whenever you pull the steering wheel out, it doesn't damage any of the wires. And then you have a 19 to take out. So now that you get the 19 off, all that you're gonna do is just kind of hit all around the steering wheel and then it should pop off. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this. So I'm gonna get this off and then I'll continue recording. So once you get the steering wheel off, you're going to come to a point that looks like this. And if you have your steering wheel straight, this line should be pointed straight up. And this little white thing right here, it goes in between them two dots right there. So you're going to want all this to be lined up perfectly before you try to put your hub on. And your hub, you're going to want this this hole right here to be at the bottom that way these wires can come through and you're going to want this center the center uh hole right here this very top one to be dead center that way your steering wheel doesn't sit this way or that way once you get your 19 back on you just tuck these wires in here unless you're going to hook them up which i don't know how to hook them up so i'm just tucking them but yeah you're going to mount this it's just six little screws. So now we have everything bolted up. I went ahead and put the quick release on. That way, whenever it actually locks in, I know that the steering wheel will be straight instead of putting that on the steering wheel and then going to click it on and my steering wheel is like way over here. So yeah, just my theory. Not sure if it's right, but it works. And now it is installed. So it is the next day and I'm pretty sure that I did everything right. I'm not really sure what them gaskets were for or any of that extra stuff that was in the bag, but I guess if it works, it works. They were not needed. But um, this is the first test drive with the new quick release. Dude, this steering wheel feels like amazing. To be honest with you, Y'all might see the steering wheel sitting a little bit to the right like this, mainly because this car never wants to keep in alignment. So there's that, but um, yeah, once I get an alignment on this thing, should be all right. 